In this video, we're going to look at an example that involves using the symmetry of the unit circle to find values of x. And in this case, we're looking for x is being between 0 degrees and 360 degrees, such that the following equations are true. So for part A, we're asked to find x such that sine of x is equal to sine of 50. So the first thing we need to do with a problem like this, as you might suspect based on what I've drawn here, is have a unit circle in front of us. And then we want to locate sine of 50. So in particular, we want to draw the angle of 50 degrees onto our unit circle. So 50 degrees is in our first quadrant, and it's nearly 45 degrees, it's a little bit bigger, so it's going to be about here. And that angle there is going to be 50, degrees. Sine is read off the y-axis, so if we look at this point here, sine of 50 is going to be this point on the y-axis. And now what we want to do is think about all other angles, that's what x represents, an angle, all other angles in this unit circle between 0 and 360 degrees, so that we get the sine value being equal to sine of 50. So we need to be in one of the first two quadrants because that's where sine is positive, that's where the y-axis is positive. So if we're 50 degrees up to this point, then obviously one value of x is sort of already given to us, that is x equals 50 degrees. So that's one of the answers we need. And the second one is actually over here. So what we want to do is we want to get to this point so that the y value there is the same as the y value over here. And to do that, we need to go 50 degrees back from 180. So this is also 50 degrees. So the really important thing here with the symmetry properties is we're always going backwards or forwards from the horizontal line. So this here is 180 degrees, that's a straight angle. So we wanna go 50 degrees back from that. So the second angle, which goes from here to here, is going to be 130 degrees. So our second value, which satisfies this relationship, is x equals 130. So they are all values of x, such that sine of x is equal to sine of 50. We're going to do the exact same thing now for b, but we now have the relationship cos of x is equal to cos of 110. So the first thing we'll do is we'll locate 110. So that's pretty close to 90, so it's going to be somewhere up there. So this angle here is going to be 110 degrees. And now if we think about that is going to be backwards from 180 degrees, that's going to be backwards by 70 degrees. So that there's 70 degrees. And we might just draw in here that that is 180 degrees again. And now if we go back 70 degrees, we're at this point. And it, for cosine, has an x value that we could say is about here. So we want another angle, x, in that unit circle that gives the same x value. So we would need to be down at about this position here. And we would need to get to there. And to do that, we'd go all the way around here, which would be if we have 180 and then we add on the same 70 degrees here. So that 70 there, we're just going to add it on to 180, which will give us 250. So the two values for x that will satisfy this relationship, the first one's essentially given to us, it's x equals 110. So we just want to make it clear that that's one of the answers. And the second value, which we had to find, is going to be x is equal to 180 plus 70 is 250 degrees. So they're the two answers that we're looking for for part B. For part C, we've now got a relationship involving tan. So we want tan of x to equal tan of negative 25. So we've got our unit circle, and now we need to find where negative 25 degrees is. So our angles are usually measured anti-clockwise from the x-axis, but with a negative angle, we're going to go clockwise by 25 degrees. And 25 is pretty close to 30, so it's about a third of the way around. So we just extend it until it hits our tangent line, and it's this value here that we're interested in. So if we want that, first of all, we can annotate in that that is 25 degrees. 
in between the horizontal and the line drawn there. And now we want to find all values of x between 0 and 360, such that we get the same tan value just here. So we could extend this line up and into our um, second quadrant, and that would be if we annotate it on 25 degrees back from the 180. So let's just put that down so that we've got it to refer to. So this is the 180 degree angle. So if we went from zero to this point here, we'd get a tan value equal to tan of negative 25. So we do 180 and we subtract away 25, which is gonna take us to 155 as being one of our answers here. So X is 155 degrees. And then if we also took an angle that went all the way around to here, which is going to be, if I put this in, this is 360 degrees, take 25. And when we take 25 off that, we'll get to X is equal to, and this will be 335 degrees. So they are the two solutions for part C of this question. So now for part D, we have sine of x is equal to, and this is where it changes from the other three, negative sine of 65. So we're going to do a similar thing to what we've been doing before, but we now need to deal with this negative as well. So we'll see how to do that in a problem like this. So we're still going to locate 65 degrees, which is pretty close to 60. So it's about two thirds of the way around that arc in the first quadrant. So that angle there, must be 65 degrees. And it has a sine value that's up here. And the most important thing at the moment is that that sine value is a positive value. So when we have a negative out the front of a positive value, that will become negative. So we want the same value, but negative. So that'll take us to this position down here on our unit circle. So just to reiterate what happened there is we found sine of 65 had this value, whatever that is on the y axis. It was positive. So with the extra negative that's out the front here, so this negative here, we take the value of y and make it negative, which now puts it in this position as a negative value down on the negative direction of the y axis. So a bit going on in this question. What we then want to do is find the values of x such that we'll get this sine value. So to do that, we essentially want to be at this point on the unit circle or across at this point on the unit circle. So that would create these two positions here. And the 65 has something to do with these. So we start at 180 degrees and we're going to add 65 onto that for one of these options. So that's going to be 65 there as well. And 180 plus 65 is going to give X is equal to 245 as one answer to this question. And then if we are over here at 360 degrees, and then we subtract off, if I just do that in a dotted line, 65 degrees from that, that's going to take us to X is equal to 295 degrees. So those are the two values of x, such that sine of x is equal to negative sine of 65. So hopefully that example's helped. There's a fair bit to unpack in that, but a few of the really key things is we're always looking at the angles as they come off the horizontal. So we're always looking at how far back or forward from 180, or how far back or forward from 360 degrees our angle is. So stay tuned for more videos that go through symmetry and the unit circle, and good luck with any of the problems that you're attempting.